What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to tell you how a penny saved is worth more than a penny earned. And there's two ways that you can save a penny. And, or I mean, by a penny I mean any amount of money, say $100, $500. And the first way to do that is to not spend it. That's like, say you, uh, you want to go out for the weekend, just don't go out. Or say you need someone to fix something of yours, learn how to fix it yourself. Like learn how to do your own oil change instead of go a place for an oil change. And you know, more ex it, uh, uh, examples of that of course. Do your own projects and fix your own stuff and don't go out as much and that's how to save a penny. And then the second way about a penny saved being worth more than a penny earned is called investment. So first off, the beginning one saving the money that you would otherwise spend. People think that if you save a penny, it's the same as earning a penny. Like if you save 10 bucks, it's the same as earning 10 bucks. But it's really not because of simply taxes. Taxes, you have to pay taxes on everything that you earn. So you uh, have to say you're in a 20% bracket, you have to earn 20% more money just to be able to go out and spend it. So if you save by doing the work yourself or by just not buying that thing that you were going to buy, like a bottle of liquor or a new car or whatever it is, you're not just going to save the money that you would spend, but you would also save the taxes that you would have to spend by earning that money through the income tax system. Now, the other way number two is investment and at a conservative interest rate of return of 10 percent i say conservative because dave ramsey is one of the most conservative financial advisors that they have very christian advises against all debt whatsoever 100 percent against debt and dave ramsey himself says he can get 12 percent so i'm saying 10 percent after you factor in that Dave Ramsey says 12, I'm going to say 10%, okay? I know some people say 8%. I'll, I know some people say this and some people say that. But just using the numbers of 10%, after 30 years, that one penny is worth 17 and a half. So if you save $100, you have $1,750. And then if you wait just 10 more years, that's instead of worth just one penny, it's worth 45. So it goes from one on year one and on year 30, you're up to 17 and a half. And then by year 40, you're up to 45. And that's a 2% lower interest rate than Dave Ramsey himself says you can get conservatively through a trusted uh, investor advisor or whatever, you know, mutual fund guy. And, uh, and at 12%, the same number, $17, is $30 at 30 years. So one penny today is worth 30 pennies 30 years from now. So if you're going to save a dollar today, then you're actually going to have 30 years from now, 30 more dollars, according to Dave Ramsey, who's very conservative. And not only that, but if you're not going to go out and spend it, you don't have to pay more taxes when you go and earn more money to spend more money. It's quite simple. So, like, say you uh, have a repairman and you're going to charge him 100 bucks, but instead you do the work yourself. That means you don't have to pay the 100 bucks that you would pay the repairman. So, in essence, you don't have to earn that money. So you're saving on the taxes, but the bigger one is the investment half. Wow, you can literally turn one into 40 or into 20 or whatever if you invest in the long term. Now, if that helped any of you guys with your investment or with your overall perspective or anything, please let me know down below. I, let, I love to read your guys' comments. I do, honestly. And please subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe. And please hit the like button, baby. Please hit that like button. Until next time, peace.